Hello, today is Saturday, September 23rd, 2017. I'm Sharon Dingus and I'm here to share with you another ray of light. I'm coming to you from Acres for Art and Enlightenment, home of AwakeningLight.net and Red Dog Creations Art Studio. So today I picked up Mighty Maya. She's over here. Uh, I'm going to flip this cam. I don't know if I can do that. I don't think I can do this on the fly. So Miss Maya, Maya, we, uh, it was time for a uh, time at the groomer. And no, not because she ate horse apples yesterday. We did not have a horse apple incident uh, in spite of the meme. But I decided it would be fun after I picked her up to do a little drive and find a good place for today's ray of light. I thought, well, where would be a fun place to go? And so I thought, well, I'm going to drive south on Interstate 5 and uh, begin going through the grapevine, which is a gorgeous section of Interstate 5 uh, between Bakersfield and uh, Los Angeles. So it's just a gorgeous area. And Miss Maya was getting um, a little antsy. I think she had to go to the bathroom. And I figured, well, I might as well. Hi there! Uh, park ranger just came past. Um, so I thought uh, might as well stop along the way and found Fort Tejon or Tejon uh, which is from the mid oh like 1850 era and I thought oh this looks like an interesting place I bet they've got a place I can walk Maya and so we stopped and parked used she used the, her potty I used my potty and we turned the corner after coming out, and there are a variety of buildings. So all around us, right here, is some of the preservation that California has uh, done, which is very important uh, to at least look at things. And before I start going too crazy on any of the history, is it, there appears to be a relationship actually between some of the, the Indian uh, peoples from this area and I hope there wasn't anything horrible that happened here. Unfortunately I suspect there was but in the reader boards uh, that I saw it did say something about the fort was to help protect Indians. So Native Americans, Indians at that time. So I hope that uh, it was more altruistic than anything and one never knows. But an interesting part of, of California is this area, Kern County, Bakersfield, actually was apparently filled with marshes and quite a bit of water way back in the day. And there is something called, I believe it's a Tule, T-U-L-E, reed. And some of these, these like canoes that you see that are made out of reeds, um, that's actually a Tule reed. And they, they filled the marshland uh, in Kern County and the surrounding area as well as uh, from the brief reading that I did was used for food as well and that's all fine and well but what struck me I don't know if you can see the magnitude of this amazing oak tree here's my hand here I am next to this tree if I spread my arms out and I've got a six foot wingspan I can barely hit the diameter of this oak. So I'm just going to go up. Maya, come on, honey. We're actually going to walk around this oak tree and give you a feel for the magnitude and the majesty of this beautiful girl. She is just gorgeous. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful oak tree. And she is not the only one of this size. And uh, I, I just had to stop and film today's uh, ray of light from here and I had tarot cards that I was going to talk about but I'm just captivated by this gorgeous oak and she has these wild project I'm assuming that these used to be or at one time perhaps they were a burl perhaps they were any number of things but look at this thing it, it let me see if I have it focused gonna have to take off there we go in here it's almost like a uh, a bird feeder gourd is what it looks like. It's just so intriguing what I'm seeing here. But I, I just had to stop and let's get some gorgeous sun rays, right? Uh, coming through here. So with that in mind, 
that's today's ray of light is go out and hug a tree and thank goodness for these natural areas that protect these trees so I'm assuming that this was a decent sized oak tree back when this fort was actively being used for its original intention and uh, I think Maya and I are gonna hike around a little bit I'm not a huge history buff as sad as that sounds for people who are history buffs what I'm actually gonna go do is a little tree hugging and a little tree loving so Thank you for taking the time to watch today. I send you blessings, love, and light as you hug your trees today.